You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a newer face to Greater Brockton, Brian Hoffman. Welcome, Brian. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for, for asking. Thanks for coming out on this hot day. You are going to cool everybody, You, uh, I guess quench everybody's thirst. How's we that? certainly hope so. Um, you're from, you represent the Eastern Children's Museum. I do. Which Easton is right next to Brockton. It's Greater Brockton. It is. It's the only children's museum right contiguous to Brockton. It is. It's the old firehouse. It is. On, what is it, Sullivan, Sullivan Avenue, Avenue in yeah. Easton. Yeah. Okay, right off the newly renovated, I mean, the downtown area is looking nice. You've in been Easton. over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but you are having a night at the Bruseum. Did I get it right? You did. Okay. You did. Tell us about it. I'll give you a quick little uh, background. This is our third annual night mm -hmm. at the Bruseum. The, uh, the first year we envisioned this, we had two different mindsets. One saying this is going to be a great adult fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Another saying, gee, children's museum, alcohol, you know. And so we checked around with children's museums around the country to see what they did for adult fundraisers. Mm -hmm. And several of them did the same kinds of things or wine tasting. So we felt better about it. This was 2014. We said, gee, if we can get three, 400 to attend, we'll be above break even. It'll be good foundation to set. It'll be a nice community activity. Blew the doors off the place. We had 740 people. We, ran, we have specially etched glassware for it. We ran out of them very quickly. So I'm literally sending members of our committee running down to the dollar store to see a plastic cups. Mm -hmm. But we took everybody's name and said, don't worry, we're going to get more glasses and we will tell you when they're in, you can come get yours. They've become collector's items. Mm -hmm. The next year we planned better. We knew we were going to you know, have that kind of a crowd. So we set a limit. We said we're going to 800 tickets and that's it. Uh, we sold out very quickly, uh, had a great event. And so here we are at year number three. Um, and it has turned into not just a very effective fundraiser, Mark, but it's turned into a community event that we really hadn't anticipated. So here you have 800 plus complimentary tickets for sponsors and stuff. You're probably pushing close to 860, 870 people, all of them in a beautiful outdoor setting. So it's, we, we turn our outdoor learning center uh, and if you've been to the museum, you know, it's yeah. this beautiful, you know, totally enclosed space. We turned it into a beer garden for an evening. Mm -hmm. We have live music. Uh, we have a great band from, uh, from Boston called the uh, Wolf Pack, and they donate their time. They mm. come down and play three solid hours of incredibly good music. Um, this year we will have 17 of the region's best craft brewers, and each of the brewers brings two or three varieties sometimes. So you're talking about probably 45 or so different varieties of beers, ales, ciders, um, and uh, seven of the local restaurants will be participating as food vendors. Uh, the admission cost includes all of the beer tastings. So there's mm -hmm. no charge for that. And just as much as you want and can capture, you gotta know, stand in line with other folks. Uh, during that three hour period of time. And then the food is uh, just cash as you go type of thing. And we don't ask for money from the food vendors. We just want them to provide something at a reasonable price. So we have people having food while they're having alcohol. And it turns into just the absolute best block party you've ever seen. You want to talk about the restaurants? Um, sure, I'd be glad to. Um, I'll, be, I'll be glad to let you know who's going to be there. And if you want, we can talk about the breweries as well. Sure. but. Uh, as of uh, oh, just a couple of weeks ago now, we have Bill's Pizza, which is right downtown right. Easton. We have Corfinio Wood-Fired Grill, which is a brand new restaurant right over in Washington Plaza. Yeah. Easton Country Club, their catering service, Mark Minsky's gang uh, is participating. Uh, the Farmer's Daughter, right on Main mm -hmm. Street, will be one of the food vendors. A great new uh, restaurant offering in Easton that is already successfully in Canton called Roxanne's Taqueria. So we're going to oh. have tacos and burritos and, you know, some uh, really good stuff for, for folks who love that kind of food with their beer. Uh, Stone Forge Grill in Easton. Mm -hmm. um, and another great new business in Easton called Twins Catering, which this past uh, summer won the, uh, Easton, the Taste of Easton contest. So they're a brand new business and they're cranking and we're glad they're going to be there as well. Sounds good. Let's yeah. talk. Let's talk about the brewers. Beer. Beer what did you is say? How many? Seventeen. Uh, Sixteen, I believe. Oh, 16, Okay. So, and some of them are returnees. Some of these are brewers that have been with us every year. Some, not. And we do try to kind of bring in the new ones. Bring in the ones that are. And there's a couple in here that are very, very new, but they're very kind of top of mind for people who are into craft beer. So we have Battle Road Brewing, 
Berkeley Brewing, Bog Iron out of uh, Mansfield, and they're one of the new ones at Bog Iron Brewing. Blue Hills Brewery out of Canton, and those are great folks. They're with us all, you know, every year, and they're terrific community uh, partners. Boston Beer Works, Clown Shoes, Down East Cider, Down the Road Brewing, another new one and a great one. Farmer Willie's Ginger Beer, and this is uh, a, a brewer that just specializes in these made from natural ingredients, ginger beer and mm. other kind of, you know, beer type of stuff that are very uh, unique. They're spiced, they're a very different kind of a, of a beer, but they're, uh, they're, they're pretty good if that's what you like. Jack's Abbey is coming back again this year, Lord Hobo Brewing, Narragansett, Peak Organic, and they've been with us every year since the beginning. Uh, Revival Brewing Company, which is another new one for us. Uh, Two Roads Brewing and Wachusett. So we've got some phenomenal wow. uh, tastes for people. As you started out and you say, you know, a way to quench our thirst in this hot weather. It is, but it's more, the fun thing about these events is that the brewers love to talk to the patrons and tell them about their beers, how they make them, what's unique and different about theirs. And uh, there isn't a person who doesn't walk away smiling at the end of the event. I've traveled around to different cities like Portland and, and out more Western. Sure breweries and restaurants and all of mm -hmm. them all blended together. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is a great mix for, yeah. for, the, for the night. It is. That's quite the yep. success. Um, give us your website and phone number before I forget so people know Absolutely. how to get in touch Thank with you. Thank you for asking. So the phone number is 508-230-3789. And the website is www.children's, that's plural, children'smuseuminEaston.org. Okay, in eastern.org. Yep, so or you can go on our website. You can actually go on a website, click on a link, go right to the ticket sales, purchase your tickets online. Tickets can be purchased at the museum anytime we're open. Tickets yep. are also available at the Stone Forge Grill. Okay. Uh, they're uh, available at uh, Stone House of Brews, which is another great place. If you haven't been there, that's a place you really mm -hmm. want to check out. Uh, and they're available at uh, the major banks in Easton, who are both our major sponsors for the event, Northeastern Savings Bank at three of their branches, and Bank of Easton at uh, their two branches. So, Nice. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, and again, they have been with us from the beginning. Uh, they, they are our title sponsors, and they cover a lot of the expenses at the, at the outset. Real quick elevator sure. speech, 30 seconds. 30 Children's seconds. Children's Museum mission in a... Not even a moment. We can do that in 30 seconds. The Children's Museum is dedicated to early learning through play. We do stuff in science, math, engineering, art. We literally have kids playing with sewing machines who are two years old and making things. So it's all about children having fun, unstructured play, but structured learning indoors and out. Everything from a year and a half up to about six or seven. When they get to be eight, they kind of age out and they want something more sophisticated. Okay, well, we're going to do a follow-up and we're going to have to come for a visit. You definitely have to come. Okay. You need to come over. Thanks for coming. All on. right, Mark, thanks okay. very much. Um, so third annual night at the museum, um, Bruseum, on August 27th, 4 to 7 p.m. We gave you the phone number and the website. Be there or be square. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.